WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning. We kick off fall trading. We got markets in negative territory to kick things off. You're looking at an S&P negative by about 13 points right now, trading at 45.21. We were as high last night. You look where we were. We were at almost 45.50. So you're talking about giving back almost... 30 points in the S&Ps. We got NASDAQ in the red as well. NASDAQ 100, negative 12 points. The Dow really accelerating, leading the way down. Look at that drop off from 35,400 at about 7.30 a.m. this morning. You dip to a low at 35,125. We're down more than 200 points in the Dow. How about the Russell leading the way to positive territory, up seven points right now at 22.97. Bitcoin catching a bid over the weekend, 53,125. El Salvador, they will be accepting Bitcoin uh, in their stores. El Salvador buying 400 Bitcoin, $21 million. Be careful out there in Bitcoin, folks. Uh, El Salvador trying to ride the waves themselves, I assume, and not really putting too much of a bid in that market. Crude, negative 67 cents, catching a little bit of a bid in the last hour or so, though you had crude at about 8 a.m., two hours, I should say, down to 67 60. Five, yes, even a low of 67.64. So we've climbed about a dollar in the last two hours in crude trading, 68.60. And gold contract, we got a little bit of dollar strength today. We have some gold weakness, gold negative $22 at 18.11. Quite the acceleration on Friday, kind of back to where we were basically Thursday night. Overnight on gold at 18.11. Silver is off 26 cents. A little bit of a different story on silver, though. Look where we are. I said gold, we were back to the lows of Thursday to Friday. Silver still above well above that area 2454 and no tim bonds we're getting some higher yields this morning we have the 10 year negative 14 ticks right now that's correlating to a yield approaching 1.38 percent we're almost up six ticks right now in the 10 year from about 1.32 to 1.38 percent that may be putting a little bit of hurting on the markets right now jumping over some of the news this morning uh goldman they're going to be cutting the u.s growth forecast as consumers see quote unquote a harder path they cut the 2021 forecast to 5.7 from 6%. They push forward some of that growth to 2022, upping it from 4.6, excuse me, 4.5 to 4.6. And they're looking for an unemployment of 4.2%. The market, though, taking it in stride, pretty much unchanged right now. Stay tuned, folks. Didn't realize Basil is out today, unfortunately. So we got a replay, but live programming, fast market at 11. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien this afternoon. We'll be right back, folks.